Hello, this is Susan McManaman, and welcome to my 365 day painting challenge. We are, believe it or not, on week approximately 31. Yes, we're past the halfway point. In this video, I'm showing a collection of plein air paintings I created during several different trips up to those magical, magical tulip fields located near Mount Vernon in the Skagit Valley. When creating a plein air painting of a tulip field, the easiest way I've found to create a feeling of depth and to give it a little bit of punch is to look at the fields from edge on and use one point perspective to turn those tulip rows into basically wedge shaped forms. I was not the only one in the tulip fields this day and this was a particularly active spot and there were people coming and going the whole time we were there. I was actually there teaching a class. I love taking my students up to paint the tulip fields. After the typical long gray northwest winter, there is nothing like these huge fields of intense color to bring you back to life. When you're in the tulip fields, don't forget to buy a couple bouquets to take home. These super sturdy flowers come in incredible colors and they last a lot longer than the typical store variety and so make a perfect subject for a studio painting. Over a million people come to see these 300 or so acres of tulips. So when you plan your trip to come see this amazing site, I have a few tips for you. One, do not come on the weekend if at all possible. The traffic can be horrendous. So try your very best to come during the week and it is much more pleasant. Second, my recommendation, and I know this is great for photographers as well as for painters, is to come either early in the morning or later in the evening. The light is better and there are far less people to share the roads, parking, and fields with. Third, bring a pair of rain boots with you. If we have a rainstorm come through, which happens in western Washington, uh, the, the fields can get kind of mucky. Uh, they'll dry out fairly quickly, but it's better to be safe than sorry. Fourth, check out the bloom map online. If you go to uh, tulips.com, they have a map they update every day to show you which fields are currently in bloom and which ones aren't and where they're located. They rotate the tulip field crops every year. And so every year it's a little bit different. I spend most of my time in the Rusengard fields. They also have a gorgeous display garden. William Rusen, the founder of this company, immigrated from Holland in 1947, and he started his farm on five acres of land. His company is now the largest tulip bulb grower in the country. Thank you, Mr. Rusen, for your hard work and your vision creating this amazing piece of art that we can all enjoy.